Hey guys, King Swamp here. Um, today's video, I'll be going over the Iguanodon. I'll show you how to tame it and what its uses are. But before I start, that um, every Friday, uh, Wildcard, which are the developers of Arc, they uh, release statements. Pretty much they either share stuff from the community or any news of upcoming projects or events such as new dinosaurs coming out, when the release date for ARC 2 will be, and so forth. But today they revealed some information that is pretty... It's a large scale announcement. Um, official servers will be sunsetted August of this year. Now, the community is taking the term sunsetting in two different ways. From what I understand, sunsetting in terms of like um, offering a service means that it will no longer be available, that they're putting it to rest, uh, that it'll be terminated. So with that being said, official servers will no longer be available to play on. And unfortunately, I've been playing ARC for five years, and that is the only server I have been playing on. So once that isn't available anymore, um, I would have to start over. And I also wouldn't be able to play with other people online. They did say that you can port everything that you do have by that date into your single player file but again that takes away part of the community um, whether you're teaming up with your tribe mates or trading with other people making new friends making new enemies in PvP all that stuff's gonna go out the window in August um, they are working on a new engine and they're repackaging the entire game that you could purchase along with Arc 2. But Arc 2 won't be available until 2024. Other people think it's an April Fool's joke. Who knows? Um, some people are saying the game's just not going to be worth playing anymore because what's the point? Um, but if that's the case, if everything is set in stone, I guess I'll just have to uh, bring everything with me in August and put it on my single player file because I just hate to see it just not ever be touched again or just erased completely. I would really stink. Well, let's just put that in the back of our minds and let's go ahead and go find ourselves an Iguanodon. Um, where's my horse at? That's what we're going to use to knock out. Oh, I need to grab some kibble. That should work. If you're taming iguanodons on foot, I do recommend using Ebola because when you attack them, instead of running away like uh, the majority of the herbivores do, it will attack you. And its melee attack is pretty powerful and it does shred through your armor. Because they do have formidable claws. my volume at. Okay, that's what I usually have. The iguanodons can be pretty much found anywhere on the island.
just going to do a lap around the lake before we widen our circle. They're about the same size as a parasaur. Once the rain lets up, the visibility will be better. That's a parasaur in the distance. Yeah. Oh, raptors. I didn't even see them coming. Just kind of nonchalantly eat them. Oh, no. <laughs> Knocked us into the water. Be okay. Raptors are terrible swimmers. We just want to avoid that jellyfish. We don't want to get shocked. I don't want to lose my best horse. I don't know if you guys hear a cat toy. What the heck? <laughs> that shark just flipped itself out of water and killed itself. Well, that's free meat. Yeah, as I was saying, if you guys hear a cat toy in the background, one of my cat's panthers, she's got a little toy stuffed mouse on her claws and she's shaking it all over the place. Another parasaur, another parasaur. Alright, so none on that side. Let's check this side out. Oh, there's a lot of dinos here. Parasaur. A big herd of Triceratops. What'd they kill? Carno? Is that what that is? Or was? Yep. Yeah, those trikes demolished them. More free meat. Oh, there. Okay, there's an Iguanodon in front of us. What level are you? Fifty. All right, that's good enough. Just look around. There might be another one nearby. It could be. Could be stronger.
Why is the aggro music playing? So there's level 50 Iguanodon back there. Carno in the woods. I do like all this Spanish moss. We have a lot of Spanish moss in Florida. Oh. That's a raptor fighting some patches. Alright, I'm getting too close to the swamp. King Swamp, too close to the swamp. That's a Baryonyx. He's fast. He's still on my tail. Knock him out. Not gonna tame him, I'm just gonna knock him out. Don't see any other iguanodons, so we'll make our way back to the level 50. It's beautiful, the sunlight going through the trees. <laughs> I'm gonna miss playing this game if I, if they do just take the servers down completely. But there's a silver lining to everything. I have a lot of games that I haven't even opened yet. Because of I've sp put so much time in ARC, so... That'll let me give more time to focus on those. And eventually I'm going to get um, a computer and I'll be able to start streaming Nintendo games as well. Chops, get out the way! Get out the way! Oh, there's a spino on the coast. I 
I really need to rewatch Jurassic Park 3. When I first saw the Spino, I was not impressed. I didn't even know it was an, an existing dinosaur. Come on, we can get over this rock. Which way did he go? I'm gonna have to like. Oh, we don't want to cross paths with that theory. Okay, where did that iguanodon go that I saw earlier? Give it one good horse kick. So now it's chasing us. Oh yeah, I forgot the Baryonyx. <laughs> they only eat fish, but we're not going to bother taming that one. Alright, so one feeding was 32, so we only need to leave two more things of kibble in the inventory. Predators do aggro on it, so need to watch out for it. Because in our Megaloceros video, we lost it to the Thylacolio.
for his last feeding. I have to give him some berries. Oh, her some berries. Since tomorrow is April Fool's Day, I'll just go ahead and name her April. I'll put a saddle on her. I'm going to have Rocket follow us back to base. So this is a walk speed for the Iguanodon. And this is its run speed. Now the Iguanodon has a very unique trait that no other dino has in the game. When sprinting, it does not use any stamina at all when it's running on all fours. So you can infinitely run around the entire island without stopping as long as nothing gets in your way. The only times that your stamina will be used is if you're swimming. Yeah, Rocket can take that. Or if you get into combat. Going into combat will uh, force your Iguanodon to rear up on two legs, and that'll use stamina. You can toggle between four leg mode and two leg mode. Four leg mode has infinite stamina when you sprint. Two leg mode is slower, but it's the only time that you can actually melee with the Iguanodon. And the Iguanodon is a decent collector, um, harvesting berries. You can also harvest thatch and wood from trees. Its carry weight is decent. And then it has one more unique ability to it. If you open um, Iguanodon's inventory, as you can see, there's a bunch of berries here. I do want to hold on to the narco berries and the mayo berries. There's an option in the option wheel called seed fruit in inventory. By clicking it, the iguanodon will do that little animation and it will turn some of the berries in its inventory into the corresponding seeds. Now the advantages to turning berries into seeds. One, seeds never spoil. So, unlike berries, berries do spoil. So you can have a surplus of food that you can just store away for a rainy day or for emergencies if for whatever reason you don't have access to food in any other area. Um, or if you live in an area that is devoid of any plant life where you can't pick any berries, the Iguanodon will be able to transport the seeds and you'll be able to, if you're able to make farm plots, and then you can plant the corresponding seeds in the plots and then you'll be able to grow berry bushes at your base that way.
without having to actually pick them. Its combat is decent. Its uh, melee attack does do some knockback to smaller dinos. It's great for beginners against uh, raptors. Most of the time an iguanodon can successfully take on a few raptors. With the fact that it doesn't have to use any stamina when sprinting, you almost never have to give it stamina when leveling up. So you can focus on health, weight, melee damage, or movement speed, depending on the role that you want to give your iguanodon. The Guanadon also has a taunt, which I'm doing now. <laughs> Overall, giving the Guanadon a final grade, uh, I would give it an A. It's definitely a great dino to use. I like it as much as I like the Equus. Um, great for scouting. Oh, we're being attacked. Or maybe not. Dillo's running away. So um, you can tame them fairly early. You get the saddle or in level 30s. Uh, on foot, use a bola. It'll stop it in its tracks. And then trank it in the head with the arrows. If you don't have a tame that KOs dinos, then you can just feed it berries or the s simple kibble if you have any. And then you have a dino that can run across every map. Um, and not drain its stamina. If you need to get from point A to point B fast and you don't have a flyer, I usually go for Iguanodon for land travel early to mid game. In PvP, I use Iguanodons a lot, um, mainly because I never have to stop and rest. And when you stop and rest to regain your stamina, that's when you could get ambushed and such. So, uh, like I said, Iguanodon gets an A. Um, I hope the news I talked about earlier that we get some more detailed information on it. I know it is not till August, but we're already going to be in April. Um, a new dinosaur comes out in June. Which I wonder why even bother because two months after that is when the official servers will go away. But if I'll have to transfer everything to single player and that's my only option. Because I don't have an Xbox One X series. And that's what the new engine is going to be available for. But we'll see what happens. Um... Highly recommend the Iguanodon, as I said. That's the only stream I have for you guys tonight. Uh, I hope everyone had a good month. And beware all the April Fool's jokes tomorrow or today if you're on the other side of the country. Uh, this is King Swamp signing out. Take care.